Yo, yo, what is up everybody? Been a while since I made a video. Um, just living life out here, raising a baby girl. Um, we're, we just sold this house and bought another house. We're getting ready to move. And uh, there hasn't been really much racing going on, especially with working and baby and, you know, getting everything ready to move. So, but I have some really big news on the house we bought. Um, I get to build my own garage. So that's really dope. And I ordered some really dope parts, which I hoping, which I was hoping they'd be here by this weekend so I can install them. And we got autocross this weekend, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. But as you can tell by the video, we did get something in that I ordered. I actually found this. This guy is selling or sold or selling his golf R um, and getting an RS3, I think. Shout out to him. So he had bought this racing line power control module. It's just like a piggyback, you know, kind of like a JB4, except for you can't uh, go in and adjust things. So but what the thing is with this racing line PCM is that once their stage one tune comes out, you get that for free for getting this. And there's like a little card in there that you register on a site. And then uh, once that tunes out, you get it for free. And then I can still resell this. So very happy with that. Um, the thing is, I don't really want to put this in until I get an intercooler just because it's so hot out here. Like the power that this is going to give me and it's just, it's not going to be even all that great because of the heat soak. So when I last emailed Do88 a couple weeks ago, they said that their kit would be out hopefully in August. So we're almost there and hopefully we can uh, take advantage of that. But check this out. Boom. This thing is beautiful. And some people say that this is just, um, I think it's, the company's called Race Chip. They said this is just Race Chip in a different uh, different body, but I honestly have no idea. It's got a nice little carbon fiber bracket here, so it sits on top of your battery. The thing is with the, at least the American 8YS3, the battery's in the back. When I see pictures of a racing line site of their S3 over in Europe, it, their batteries in the engine bay so it's really weird so this isn't gonna mount properly probably i might be able to figure out a way because there's still like a tray where the battery would go but uh yeah i was actually thinking like since people were saying it is race chip maybe to open this thing up but it's got like security screws <laughs> so i'd actually have to buy actually i might have some but it's also sealed you can see like the rtv around it so let's not do that but uh, this is the other stuff in the box. Looks like there's, um, uh, I guess that goes in this hole here. That will go in the battery tie down. This part obviously plugs into this, and then these just go to your different sensors. It should just go to your your map sensor, your because um, like the Mark 8 Golf R and the S3 have turbo shaft speed sensors. So I think one goes to that. One goes to the high pressure fuel pump. I think that might be it. How many different socks? We got one, two, three, four. So maybe one. Oh, I think one goes to the side of the intake manifold as well. Um, I'm not exactly sure on that. I have to look on the side. But um, I wish I could. Which I guess I kind of could. But uh, I really want to see, obviously, what this does on the dyno. I don't want to dyno the car. Took it to an intercooler. So, you know, there's obviously a lot of things, but I'm going to go pop the hood and see how this at least looks in there. And uh, we'll see what else we'll gap about in this video. <laughs> Alright, let's see, uh, see how this bad boy would look in the engine bay. Man, I'm telling you guys, I'm loving this car more and more. As soon as we get an intercooler, down pipe, get this bad boy in. I'll be so freaking happy. And the parts that I ordered. And if you're watching the videos, you'll know. But uh, really excited. I really wish they would have showed up before so I could dial in some things. But uh, what can you do? Let me get a light on this bad boy. This car is really... Oh, uh, yeah. So there really isn't much of a battery box, I guess. <coughs> or a battery tray. I mean. Let's see here what we can stuff this. I mean, it could just really just sit anywhere. You just have to zip tie it down. Well, normally, you know, it would sit like up here somewhere on the battery. Match all my other racing line goodies here. 
everywhere. It's a little dusty in my bay, don't mind that. Hmm. I really don't know where else I'd put it. Probably will just stick it right up under that. Right through there. Maybe I could just sink a hole right through this plastic right there. And use like a push pin or something. Well, we'll figure it out when the time comes. But I'm gonna put it away for now. Man, maybe I should. There isn't really like any videos of this um, on the internet yet, but we'll go back inside and I'll bring it up on the computer and show you guys the graphs of what they claim. I think it's somewhere around 30 horsepower and 30 foot pounds of torque or something. Um, the reason, so I got this for 600 bucks. They retail for like 900. I think for the JB4, it's somewhere around 902, but you need to buy, it's like a $50 app or something on your phone to do the Bluetooth stuff. And the, the Bluetooth thing itself is a separate from the JB4. So you wind up buying the JB4, buying the Bluetooth module, then buying the app. And from what I understand, sorry guys, I keep burping, I just ate. From what I understand, they're not even doing that great on the Golf R's. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, maybe it has something to do um, with the shaft speed sensor or something, but everybody that I've seen that has a Golf R and has it, they said they've had issues. And the way that their graphs look with the JB4, if you guys follow, um, what's his name, Humble Mechanic, the graph isn't very pretty with the JB4. Hopefully it's a little bit better with this since it's not adding a ton of power or anything. But uh, there's a couple of things that turned me off from the JB4. And I'm, I'm not bashing them. I'm not saying don't get them or anything. It's just me personally. I felt that the money could be better spent. And then, like I said, you get a free tune with this in the future. So it's kind of hard to beat. Hopefully this shows up decently on there. So this is on their website. Um, blah, blah, blah. Cannot be tuned via traditional methods. So Mark 8 GTI, Golf R, 8YS3, and then the Krupa and Octavia. Oct 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 whatever. Um, power control module, blah, blah, blah. Superpowers for your cars. Um, okay, let's just see the gains. So this is a higher output. Um... Okay, so, so applications. I wish this was in American, so 310 to 360 and 420 to 480. Okay, Google. Never mind, let's see this. So, I mean, that's, that's a decent curve there. Um, so, horsepower, we're looking at what, peak? Peak there, a little over 300 to a little over 350. So, I'll take that. Oh, it's just one little, huh. Interesting. It's weird they don't give you a little chart at the bottom and it says exactly. But it's still a nice little chart, like I said. And then you still get a, a free tune on top. Nice, okay. Well, that's what we're looking at. And this side, this side's for the, the GTI in this like I said, this is the, the 8Y S3 in Golf R. Very nice. I'll take it. Hopefully, um, it's actually noticeable. From what the guy said, he said it was really nice and he didn't notice any hiccups or anything crazy. So that's good. That I really want to, like if I installed it right now, like I said, because it's literally like every other day is like 95 degrees plus Fahrenheit when you calculate the humidity into it, like the real feel, as the weather app says. The other day I was like 107 with the humidity. Um, I really don't want to go out and be on the car in that unless it's like for a purpose, like autocross or racing. So, and you throw in the cost of gas price <laughs> on top of that, it really sucks. But I promise I will give you guys some good data. The day before, or the day of, that I go to the dyno with this thing, we'll do um, you know, zero to 60, eighth mile and stuff like that on the draggy, install it, go do those runs again, and then we'll go hop on the dyno, see a difference. Um, you know, with it only being like four or five connections, it shouldn't take but 10, 15 minutes to plug everything in real quick and, and hit the dyno. And I'm trying to get our VA MQB or VA Beach MQB page to get a group dyno day going, but, uh, 
And it said even, even you know, if you haven't upgraded an intercooler, some of those guys are pushing, you know, over 500 wheel and they're little two liters, so you don't want to be doing, I mean, what's the point in doing a dyno in this 100 degree weather? It kind of sucks. So maybe September or so we'll get the dyno stuff, but as soon as the intercooler comes, we'll, we'll get the draggy information to actually show the improvement on the street or even at the drag strip, wherever. We will get that data and do that video, I promise. But for now, I at least got it. I bought it um, for basically 30% off. So I can't really argue with that. If you guys have any question comments below? Any question? Well, I can't even talk right now. If you got any questions or comments, drop them below. I'll even drop a, uh, a link as to where to get this. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Be looking out for the autocross video coming up. And then when we move, I'll be doing progress videos on building this garage. We're going to pour a ton of concrete. We're basically going to buy this house, um, do a bunch of upgrades to it, and hopefully move out of Virginia within the next year because we really don't like it here. So <laughs> hopefully go back west or something or somewhere that isn't so crowded and so expensive to live. What else was I going to say? Oh, and the rest of the parts, they're going to show up. So a lot of things coming up, but everything takes time. So. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Little blooper uh, I caught. I was comparing these two lines, the white saying it was force power. That's actually torque. I don't know what I was thinking. The, you know, the flat, the more flatter line is going to be torque. So looking at horsepower, saying stock was just over 400 horsepower. What? Are they smoking crack? There's no way. Or they're saying, see, it's just confusing. Why are we, so that's torque. This is power, okay. Never mind. See, I bloopered again. So like 325, it's like dead even. 325 to just over 350. So yeah, like 30 horses, that's about right. It looks like the peak and then this, right around here or here, I can't tell which one's higher, but you know, about the same. So 400. 25-ish, so a little over 450, so yeah, I'll take it.